Morning. Uh, man, today I'm going to talk about John 10, 10. That the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus is teaching that I've come that you might have life and have it abundantly. That there's no way that we will have abundant life if we live a self-centered life, self-seeking. We were not created for us. And that goes against everything that the culture says. You know, it's, it's about glorification of self. It's about justification of self. It's about living a life centered in self. That's how I lived the first 45 years of my life. And um, what God is, what Jesus is, in his teachings, it's all about laying down of the self life and trusting in him because we weren't really created for us. We were created for him. So he lives in and through us wherever we go. It sets us free so that we can live that way. When we submit our will to God. Man, I'm, I'm telling you the last six and a half years, um, I, would, I wouldn't trade everything that I've been through to get where I am today. To find that peace and that rest for my soul. Um, I'm just so grateful for, for the beauty of who God is and... Every day I just pray that God deliver me from this bondage of self because that's our nature. So it's submission of our life and we don't have to get it perfect. It's just about us pursuing God and understanding that he's got a better way to live than what I've lived. Um, and I lived a pretty depraved route, but even in that I tried all these different avenues of, you know, financial success, um, uh, athletic success, um, you know, all the different approaches in life, trying to find that fulfillment and meaning, and I never found it until I got to that place. Everything I teach is out of a submitted life, because I, I think that that's where everything begins. Um, and then as we do submit, that's when things, we have that renewing of our mind, we look at life in a new way, our perspective changes then not everything is rooted in self-centeredness because that's where the enemy wants us. That's where he steals, kills, and destroys and is when we're focused inward. Um, but then when we come to that end of ourselves, we're able to love people unconditionally. We're able to get involved in other people's lives without judging them. Um, you have compassion for, for fellow strugglers because you know our human condition is broken. But we're able to connect back to the love source that, you know, God loves us as his children, wants us to live a life um, in relationship with him. Not this moralistic way of living, of trying to behave in a certain way in order to, uh, to please him. It's more about come to me, you know, and I'll give you rest for your souls. Learn from me. Renew your mind, transform your heart, and you're gonna you're gonna enjoy. Basically, what happens is, as you submit your life to God, you have more joy in your life. Uh, you have more peace. You have more freedom. You have more love in your life because it's not rooted in self-centeredness. Self-centeredness is gonna be the exact opposite of everything that I said, because when you're rooted in self, you can't love someone unconditionally. I pray that you experience that today, experience the love of God, understanding how much he loves you. Um, and then out of that, you can become free of yourself. Um, that's where life truly begins. The one who tries to hold on to his life will lose it. But the one who lays down his, my life, his life for my sake and the gospels will find it. Deny yourself, pick up your cross and follow me. If you're so rooted in yourself, you cannot deny yourself. Um, you can't lay down your cross because you're just focused on you. May God bless you and overwhelm your heart with his love today and give you a new identity, child of God. Love y'all.